in this pattern cutting video, I will be demonstrating how to take a block from an original garment. Today, we're going to be copying a trench coat so that we can use the basic block to create other styles. In order to do this, you need to have a see-through fabric, such as mesh or tulle. If you don't have mesh or tulle, please use any plastic that you can find in the house. You can use a poly pocket. In my case, I'm going to use a garment bag that I got whenever I picked up some dry cleaning. So first of all, you need to open up the bag. Place the bag on top of the coat where you want to trace. Pin it down to keep it in place because the plastic can move around quite a bit. Once you've pinned it down, you can then use a Sharpie to mark all of the seam lines. Make sure that you use a Sharpie that doesn't smear whenever you, um, if, if you accidentally rub on it, because otherwise you'll just end up making a bit of a mess. So here I am, I'm tracing off the front armhole, the front raglan, which has got a little bit of a curve to it. Then I'm going to mark off this, the front storm flap, which is a straight line, and that runs at a right angle to the centre front. I'm marking in the pocket positions. The side seams. And then I'm going to just mark the buttonholes and the buttonhole positions. I've just marked there the centre front of the garment where the collar is attached. As this is a double breasted um, trench coat. I've also marked the buttonhole positions. Once you have traced it onto the plastic, then place it on top of some pattern paper. You're going to need a tracing wheel now in order to transfer the markings from the plastic onto the pattern paper. So I'm going around the centre front, which is a slight curve on it, marking on the front neckline giving a notch there for the centre front where the collar comes to. Going around the uh, front of the raglan sleeve. I'm just going to use a ruler there so I get a nice straight line. Marking in the pocket position. So now I'm going to use the tracing wheel markings to create the pattern on the pattern paper. So I'm just going to be looking for those little holes and they're going to guide me while I'm making all of my new seam lines. So I'm using a slightly darker pencil. I'm using a B pencil just so you can see. And be careful here because the paper can actually rip because of the uh, markings. So I'm just drawing in. You can see all of these lines front of the storm flap, put that at a right angle and then we've got to curve our ruler slightly so that we can mark in the front armhole. Mark the pocket position. Mark the buttonhole positions, make sure they're aligned. And that's the centre of the button. And I'm going to use my button marker. These are 44 line buttons. A 
Okay, so um, once you've done that, what you need to do is you need to go back and you need to double check all your measurements. So what I do is I measure my coat and then I write the measurement that it should be on the pattern. Remember, if you're measuring a curve, you need to work with your tape measure on its side to get an accurate measurement. So just work your way around the pattern. Here I'm doing the center front neck and then I will place that measurement onto the pattern piece. And this is just a good way of double checking that the work that you've done is accurate. Measure the side seams. Measure the center front. And write it onto the pattern. Now you can just go around the pattern and just double check that your measurements are correct. So I usually write the first measurement on and the second measurement I usually put a circle around it. Measuring the front neck, making sure that it's the same. Measuring here. So I can see that the measurement's incorrect there. So I'm just going to extend that by about 0.5 and I'm just going to reshape it and I'm going to blend it and I'm putting a cross through the old line because it's incorrect. Right, now I'm going to do the collar. So first of all, we're just going to make half a collar. So fold the collar in half and just use some pins to mark the centre back. Pin the plastic down on top. Mark on the collar shape with a Sharpie as before. We need to get that little stand there as well. And take it off and place it onto some pattern paper. And as we did before, I'm going to mark the centre back first of all. And then I'm going to transfer all of the seam detail that we've traced onto the plastic onto the pattern paper using my tracing wheel. So I'm just marking in now, use following the little dots that have been left by the tracing wheel. Quite easy to see in, on, in real life. And there we go, that's the pattern. Now we're going to trace off the front of the raglan sleeve. The sleeve is in two parts. There's a seam that runs from the shoulder right down to the wrist. So it's really important to get the raglan as flat as possible. So you will need to spend a bit of time just getting it really, really flat. You can pin the bag down again quite in quite a few places just to stop it moving around. So you can get like a really accurate copy. So I've started to draw around the um, seam lines here. So that's the front raglan. Draw the under um, under sleeve. Just going to mark there where the little tabs are. Draw around the buttonholes and the buttons. And then I'm doing the seam that runs from the wrist right through the shoulder. And now I'm going to transfer all of the information from the plastic bag onto some pattern paper. So first of all, I'm going to pin it down onto the paper so it doesn't move around. Use my tracing wheel. I'm going to transfer all of the markings. I'm doing the front of the raglan there, front, front neck. So I'm working my way around the sleeve and marking all of the 
various seams and information onto the pattern paper. I'm going to do the buttonholes here. I'm just going to mark across in the centre of the buttonhole. I will draw the buttonholes in later with my buttonhole marker. But right now I just mark the centre of the buttons. Then I'm going to take the paper or the plastic off and obviously mark in all of the new information that I can get from the little um, marks that have been made by the tracing wheel. I'm going to mark on the green line that runs straight through the sleeve, it runs parallel with the seam. So once I've done that I'm going to do the same for the back and then you can see here I have pinned or not pinned, I've taped it together and I've put it on my mannequin so you can get an idea of how it will look. This is just a block so there's currently no seam allowance on it or anything at the moment but you can see that it's the same colour that's double breasted button positions are there. So now it's ready to be used to create a new style.